In this presentation, we will record the journal entry related to making payments on an installment note, taking the information from an amortization schedule, breaking out the principal portion and interest portion of the payments. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here's where we're going to have our information. We've got our amortization table, just a piece of the amortization table up top. We're going to record our journal entry in the general journal, post it to our worksheet, our trial balance in balance, where we have the assets, liabilities, equity, then revenue and expenses, debits being represented with non-bracketed or positive, credits being represented with bracketed or negative. Therefore, the debits minus the credits equal this zero. And net income is 700000 which is revenue or sales minus the expenses there are none at this time so our goal here is to record our journal entries now so the loan we took out on the books is at the books for 100,000 that's the same amount on our amortization table where we start we're just going to go through this amortization table and make these payments we set up the payment to be even 3,180 uh, each time period however the amount that's going to be reducing the principal and the amount that's going to be allocated to interest varies with each payment. Therefore, we can't just make it a nice, easy write a check and have the other side go somewhere to be completely correct because we're going to have to decrease cash and allocate that on the other side to the uh, principal portion to reducing the note payable and then the interest portion to be recording the expense, kind of like the rent on the money. Now, again, if you're working in, in a, with a bookkeeper and someone else to do the adjusting process, or if you just want to make the adjusting process easy and the data input as easy as possible, in other words, if you would like to just write a check and then uh, not have to change the other component of it, so you can just write a check, the system memorizes what you're doing, so you only have one other account and it's all the same, you could just write a check and record it to the note payable, even though you'll be recording too much to the, to the principal, and not recording the interest at all, and then plan on adjusting it at the end of the time period. At the end of the time period, then you adjust according to the amortization table, and you can do that from with an outside CPA firm or as a bookkeeper. That's one way that you can make the data input very easy and then uh, make the adjustment in the adjusting process. So that's one option. Otherwise, we need the amortization table, which is something you may not have in most loans. And if we don't get a loan, they only give us the terms of the loans, but not to this table, not breaking out how each payment is, is allocated between interest and principal, then we can make one. We can derive it in Excel, uh, which we've seen in a prior presentation. Now that we have it here, we're just going to make these payments. And after each payment, then the loan balance that we see on our books will then match the new balance after the first payment. So after we're done, this 100000 should be the 97570 so our first question is cash affected that that's yes it's affected and we know what the payment is that's the easy part it's all the same so we know cash is going to go down with a credit and then we are, are going to have an interest expense that's what we're going to be paying part of what we're paying off is an expense and the other part is decreasing the loan now the question is how much is the interest expense well we need the table to do that and that's going to give us the 750. now how did it get to the 750 well it's going to be the 100,000 here times the rate, which I think was 9%, so it's the 100,000 times 0 0.09, that would be for a year. It's only monthly, so we'll divide by 12, and that's gonna give us that, that 750. And then the difference between uh, the payment and the interest is what's gonna go to the uh, principal. So that's gonna be the principal amount here. So we're gonna have to break it out between interest and principal. So if we post this then, we're going to say that the interest started at zero. It's going to go up by 750 to 750. That's kind of like the rent on the money. So that's over and above what we're going to be paying over and above the initial principal because it's for the use of the money. And then we've got the note payable. We're paying off the 100000 This is the amount that's actually decreased in the liability uh, to 97570 which should match our amortization table. And we, are, of course, are paying cash, decreasing cash. So if we see this all laid out, then, of course, we're making the payment. Then we're allocating it between principal and interest. Here's the principal component decreasing the loan to what it should be on our amortization table after the first payment. 
and then we're going to have the other side go into interest and this is just an expense of doing business we had to finance the business and we're just paying this just like we would pay rent on say an apartment or something like that or a, a building in order to do business next payment we're going to do and we're just going to jump forward to the next month and make the next payment and much of it will be the same so we have our, our previous balance here the note payable 97,570. 97,570. We're going to make the same amount of payment. Cash is going to be the same. That's the point of standardizing this. However, the amount allocated to interest and principal will differ. So we can't just memorize, even if we have the two accounts, we can't just memorize the last transaction because the allocation between interest and principal will differ. So we have to go to the amortization table and say, okay, the interest expense portion now is 732, which, how are we calculating that? Well, it's the 97,570 times the, the rate, which was 9%, 0.09, divided by 12, because that's a yearly amount. We want a monthly amount, and that's going to be the 731, about 732. So that's going to be our interest portion, and the rest will be principal. The 3,180 minus the 732 gives us the principal portion. If we post this out, then we're going to say interest expense goes up again. So it's going up in the debit direction. We're going to say that the loan is going down by the principal component to 95,122 matching what's on our table and then the cash is going to go down. So if we have our amortization table it should be pretty straightforward we can match these all out uh, and we can we can always tie out our loan to the amortization table. Now just note if you have if you have multiple notes payable some people group them all into one account on the trial balance and if you do that then you need a subsidiary account of course to be able to match out each amount to its, its uh, amortization table and be able to back up the one account on the trial balance. You may have multiple loans and actually list out each loan on the trial balance and that's useful sometimes because then you can see uh, each loan amount and each loan amount should easily tie out to the amortization table. So there's a couple different options. We'll talk about more options as we go. We also have an issue of short term versus long term <laughs> that we'll have to deal with when we break these out into the uh, financial statements. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.